Welcome back, traders. Hope you had a lovely weekend uh, and you are ready to trade. Today is Monday, the 14th of August. And as always, we're going to look back at Friday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Your one-stop shop. Uh, right, let's start with Friday's trades then, guys. So we were looking at a couple of yen pairs. The first one was this. This was Euro yen. And as you can see, guys, it's in an uptrend. Yeah, we're starting to see higher lows, higher highs. We're in an uptrend. Okay, and we had a nice bullish candle that broke out of this area of resistance. And we were just looking for a retrace to take price higher. All right, guys, we just didn't get the retrace, really. So if we go uh, to the H4 now, yeah, we're just still waiting for price to come down, guys. You can see, you know, this gray zone here is an important gray zone yeah, because price has reacted many times. And I would still be interested in this pair if it comes down to this gray zone. And judging by these H4 candles, you know, sellers are taking control. So potentially it has a bit more room to the downside. Maybe even at this moving average 20 level, we might be able to get in. We will see. Um, but Friday, guys, no trade. It just didn't retrace enough. Okay. Um the same was to be said for Swiss franc Japanese yen as well. So um, if we go to the day chart, we were also looking to long this pair. And again, guys, you know, we're in an uptrend. Yeah, higher lows, higher highs. We broke out of this area of resistance with this bullish green candle. All right. So, yeah, we were looking for buys. But again, I need some value, guys. If I, if I start buying here, I know this is the day chart, but if I start buying here, there's no value for me. If I start buying in here, yeah, there's lots of value, lots of room to move into, lots of value. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. Yeah, I need value to enter the trade. Um, if we drop down to the H4 now, yeah, I mean... Nothing really told us to, to buy this market, really. I mean, these candles, even the wicks on these candles are not telling us to keep buying it. Um, if we drop down to the H1 chart, there was potentially an entry. Yeah, and it was this candle here. Yeah, because there was, a, there was an area forming through here. These were the last H1 lows over here. And this held... Okay, so we were still with H1 structure. So maybe some of you got in on this candle, put your stop here. You know, you would have got some nice profit on Friday. This candle was also very bullish, but, you know, that the risk to reward doesn't make sense because this was our target here. All right, but I stayed out of this, guys. I'm still looking for price to retrace down to here. Because at this level, again, I get real value. There is some value here, but here is super duper value. All right. So, yeah, that was the problem with all the pairs on Friday. Because um, we also had euro against the New Zealand dollar. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's start with the day chart. And we were looking to buy this as well, guys. All right. So you can clearly see price was in an uptrend yeah higher lows higher highs okay we're in an uptrend and i liked this candle because this candle here because it broke the last highs of these candles which tells us you know price will push up and you know it did hit our target we had a conservative target it was a friday um so yeah i would have took profit if i got in, a, in on this trade but again, guys, if we go down to the H4 now, I just wanted, you know, a retrace before we come back up. And we just never got it, guys. And you can see it's stuttering at this level now. So maybe we'll get a retrace, you know, today or this week, you know, and I'll still be interested in this level. Um, but again, Friday, there was no value entering here, here, here. No value, guys. All right. So, yeah. A, a bit of a, you know, 
no trade day really friday guys and if i you know if i do give you my trades you know exactly when they happen i'll put that in the vip discord um so you can check that out so yeah that was friday guys let's take a look at trades for today now <music> Guys, if you enjoyed the recap, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel right now. Yeah, smash that notification button as well, guys, so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. And if everyone could please smash the like button uh, right now as well, really help support the channel and the vid. Thank you very much. Danke, Shan, gracias. Um, right, trades for Monday the 14th of August. Before I give you my trade ideas for today, let me just uh, tell you a few things the channel does. So first of all, guys, we've got a free Discord channel. It's free. So come join it. We've got traders in there sharing ideas, knowledge. We've got uh, useful links, indicators, uh, psychology, loads of cool things in there, guys. So come join the free Discord channel. The link is in the video description. Next, guys, we also have a VIP Discord channel. Okay, You do have to pay for this service, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, so you can ask me questions if you're not sure about anything. Um, I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. OK, um, you also get two other expert traders giving you their trade ideas as and when they happen. We give you exclusive content every single week. Yeah. And you get access to a fully qualified performance coach uh, should you need it. So if you're interested in all of those things, come join the VIP Discord. Uh, the link is in the video description. Uh, next, guys, if you would like to be mentored one on one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. OK, the email is in the video description. Um, and now, guys, you can become a Simply Forex YouTube member. So if you watch our videos every day, join us for the live stream, then you can show your support by becoming a member. It starts for, for as little as under $2 uh, a month, uh, but you get loads of cool perks for becoming a member, depending on what tier you are in. And finally, guys, don't forget the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST, Get your questions ready. We're going to do a little quiz as well, a bit of both. Come join us. Uh, I'll see you for that later on. Right. Trades for Monday the 14th of August. It is all about New Zealand dollar is incredibly weak. Okay. So I don't need anything else to tell me that apart from the charts. So New Zealand dollar is crazy weak, but it's, it's so weak that it's difficult to find a setup, if that makes sense. It's so overbought or oversold, and I'll show you what I mean. We're going to look at a couple of examples. So this is what we're looking at today, New Zealand dollar weakness. So if, you, if we look at New Zealand dollar Swiss franc, let's go to the day chart. Yeah, New Zealand dollar Swiss franc. You know, clearly in a downtrend, yeah, and we have a super bearish candle, you know, we could probably come lower, all right? It's also broken a very historic weekly level. But there's no value. There's no value here. I need price to come back up to here, and then we could come lower. Then we've got a trade, okay? So I need value, guys. There's just no value here. If we look at any... Uh, New Zealand dollar pair pretty much let's look at pound New Zealand dollar you know again look at that yeah this is the day chart yeah loads of uncertainty and then it broke yeah when it breaks these box of indecisions look how aggressive it can move but you know if you looked at this chart you'd be like Tom I want to buy pound New Zealand dollar and I get it yeah I would agree with you but again no value up here we need a retrace, you know, into here somewhere. Maybe the moving average 20 catches up. Then we have a trade. So this these New Zealand dollar pairs may not be trades for, you know, maybe one, two, three, four days. And then we get a retrace. We might not even get a retrace, guys. But I cannot trade it up here. Um, any of them. Any of them. Euro New Zealand. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's also flying off. Yeah, we're clearly in an uptrend. Yeah, but 
no value up here. You know, a really nice level for this one would be in here when price catches, uh, when the moving average 20 catches up and we can start looking for buys. Um, what other, you know, literally any New Zealand dollar pair is weak, guys. Also, New Zealand US dollar. All right. I mean, look at, look at that. If we look at the weekly chart as well, it's just, you know, it's broken this low. You know, and if I was, I, you know, I'm, I, this is the one I was contemplating to take back down to these, this level here, this 5,900. But again, if we look at the day chart, that is still very oversold. Yeah. I need a retrace before we come lower. Again, might not get a retrace, but that's what I need. I need value somewhere. All right. But there is one New Zealand dollar pair, and this is going to be my uh, trade idea for today. All right. So Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Why do I like this? Well, we're going to start with the weekly chart. So obviously still New Zealand dollar weakness. Um, but there's a bit of value here. So this is my first trade idea, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. And if we look at the weekly chart, yeah, we are still in an uptrend. Higher lows, higher highs. Yeah, we are in, if we drew trend lines, drew a channel, you know, we are in an uptrend. Okay, so potentially it could come back up to here, guys. All right. But if we go down to the day chart now, what are we seeing? So here, guys, I'm seeing a range, all right? Price is just ranging potentially between here and here. So price has come down, it's come back up, it's come back down. It's also, you know, broken this last low here, uh, this, sorry, this last high here. All right, so I'm interested in this. And it pushed out of this gray zone that I had marked in. So guys, that's the idea to buy this pair. I do not like this wick. I want to make that clear, but there's enough other reasons for me to take this trade. All right. Um, and it is bullish. The body of the candle is bigger than the wick. All right. And also look at this buying momentum. So the idea is just to take price back up to the top of this range. In fact, let me drag out the top of the range so you can see it. So that's the idea, guys, of Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollars. The only New Zealand dollar pair that had some value. All right. So that's what I'm looking to do. If we drop down to the H4 now, you can see why I've mapped this gray zone out in here. Yeah, you can see price has reacted here, 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 here. here. So we know this is a very important gray zone. When I say gray zone, I mean support resistance zone. So what do I want to see, guys? I want to see price retrace into this gray zone. Okay. Maybe the moving average 20 catches up with us as well. I like this combination. Yeah. And then we get a bullish reaction. And when I say bullish reaction, guys, it could be uh, a H1 and or a, a H4 bullish strong bullish candle a candle that tells me buyers are in control all right and then when i get that i will you know enter the enter the trade and look to take price back up to the top of that range if i zoom out yeah you can see that guys so retrace into here bullish reaction take price back up to here i'll probably take some profit here as you know guys i like to secure some profit so I'll probably take 80% here, leave 20% to run. All right, guys. So yeah, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, that's my first trade idea. There was a few yen pairs I'm looking at, Swiss franc. Um, but again, you know, it feels like another week of nothing, of, of not many setups, okay? But I do like euro yen. Okay, so Euro Yen, as from Friday's trades, we're just waiting for this retrace. So this is the day chart, guys. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, this is the day chart. We're clearly in an uptrend. I want to see price retrace into this grey zone. Yeah, and then we can start buying this pair. All right, so that's the day chart. That's what I'm looking at. If we go down to the H4 now, 
yeah, you can see I just want which we're getting this selling momentum to carry on and just come back down to this gray zone and maybe this moving average 20 as well. Bullish reaction, I think we can take price back up higher. All right, guys, so Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, buy, Euro yen, buy, if it comes back down to this level. Um, those are my trade ideas for today, guys, all right? Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, uh, my trade ideas. If you have, if I could ask everyone to subscribe to the channel right now, yeah? And also smash the like button right now as well, guys, all right? And also don't forget all the cool things we do. We've got the VIP Discord, the free Discord, we've got the U YouTube membership, we've got the mentorship program, and we've got the live stream later. Right, let's take a look at the news now. So news for Monday, the 14th of August, guys. There isn't any Carry on as you are. <laughs> yeah, there isn't any, guys. Yeah, you can see on Monday. Also got Tuesday up here as well. But you can see Monday, there's no big news of any interest, guys. So you're pretty free to trade today. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of the vid, guys. I hope you've liked it. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like, and share with your friends. Don't forget the live stream later on. Get your questions ready. 8 a.m. New York EST. I'll see you then, guys.